Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy Games. Welcome to Gene's office. It's another Genshin Impact Wish video. <laughs> All right. I I realized in the um, last Wish video, I didn't release a Xiao Lantern for good luck. So maybe that's why I only got <laughs> just like the regular stuff. Like my pity, my four star pity was just like the banner character. So that's like more or less as expected. <laughs> So, this time I'm going to release a Xiao Lantern before I do a wish. But uh, this time I'm not going to do a wish on the Hu Tao's banner since I'm still... I don't want to, like, use up all my Primo Gems too quickly. I want to have it at least accumulate so that if the banner character is someone I'm, like, desperate to get, I have some, like, leeway in terms of resources I can use to get the Intertwined Fates. <laughs> I am going to, no, not the weapon one, but I'm going to do the permanent banner since the game has rewarded me with enough um, acquaint fates for this. For the most part, the acquaint fates was rewarded to me by leveling up characters or ascending characters, I guess. One of them was from ascending Chang Yun, one of them was from, from ascending Razor, and another one was from ascending um diona so that's three and then i got five from the like i just go to the shop five like i guess like two wish videos ago you would have seen me pick um this up so that's five and um I believe I had three left over from last time, which was from the battle pass, which was rewards from the battle pass, which I've maxed out. So that's where, that's where I got the acquaint fates from. So don't forget the Xiao Lantern. All right, please bless me with a five star. I wish for a miraculous pull. Oh, there it is. Woo! Does it clip through the... No! <laughs> oh, wow! There's actually, like, collision for those things, and they actually get caught on things. That's pretty funny. And, like, the shadow from the lighting for that thing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I guess a little bit of attention to detail there. But, yeah. Let's uh, take a look at the history. I'm not... I don't actually remember when the last time I got a 5-star for this, but it's probably not long ago. Yeah, I got, this was Pity, and it was um, a 5-star spear that I've leveled up for Xiangling. <laughs> but uh, that was 3 times 6, 18, 18 pulls ago, so nowhere near Pity for the 5-star, but who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky finally, after all these years. It's only been a few months, really. <laughs> Alright, 3, 2... One. May the RNG gods bless me with that Xiao Lantern. Boop. Nope. <laughs> uh, why? Why must you be so cruel, Mihoyo? Thrilling tales of dragon slayers. Cool steel. Ooh. I'm kind of sad that I got a weapon out of this. <laughs> Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer. Black Castle. Thrilling Tale of Dragon Slayer. Skyrider's Sword. Magic Guide. Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer. Black Castle. Duh. That is very, very lame. This makes me hate life. This makes me kind of hate me, ho yo. <laughs> uh, that kind of suck. I guess I didn't talk about the details of this, but it's... For those who are new, I guess. I usually talk about what I expect. Like, my hopes and dreams and expectations for, for what will come out of Banner. But, I don't know. For the most part, the sentiment has been the same, really, like... I would like characters over weapons, 
I don't really expect to get a 5 star. If I get a 4 star, I would rather have a 4 star that I've leveled up. Like, first off, I like to have characters that leveled up so I can use them right away or feel the reward right away. And then, like, getting constellation for characters I have not leveled up yet. That would be nice. And um, when it comes to weapons, I would like to have swords and catalysts. And um, usually I don't really want weapons to begin with. And um, nobody like nobody likes three stars. Go away, three star. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I guess I did that a little out of order, but whatever. Um, there's really nothing I can uh, look at this time around. That's how sad the pulls were. What do we have? I guess I should go into here. Find a catalyst user. So I do have these two sacrificial fragments that are just level one. And Klee has like a level 80 version. And uh, its refinement rank is still one. So at this point, uh, I don't know. Like, it's an elemental mastery um, catalyst, which. I don't know, I, I don't really have a lot of uh, confidence in Elemental Mastery. Like, I would rather doing, like, attacks, like regular attacks, Elemental skills, Elemental bursts, for the character to do the, the damage instead of relying on, like, or Elemental reactions. So I don't, like, gameplay-wise, I don't favor reactions, so I don't like building into Elemental Mastery. But the, um... The perk on on this uh, catalyst is pretty sweet. If you if you hit an enemy or an opponent with uh, your elemental skill, there's a chance for it to just refresh, so you can do it again, which is pretty fun with, especially with Klee, since um, she has two. I think she has two. I don't know if it's a constellation. No, it can't be a constellation thing, because I don't. It's a five star. I don't have any constellations for five stars as a free to play. But um, yeah, she has two charges for her elemental skill. I wonder why it doesn't say that here. Oh yeah, starts with two charges right there. So you can potentially get like a third charge pretty much just for free. And uh, having her spam like three jumpy dumpty, <laughs> jumpy dumpty bombs out is pretty cool. Especially if you have uh, equipped her with um, the Crimson Witch set, which um, every time you use an elemental skill, you get pretty much a uh, more py pyro <laughs> damage increase. So yeah, lots of synergies there. So I don't know if I want to like kind of have the same play style with like, let's say for Sucrose here, if I encrypted her, if I leveled up one of these and encrypted Sucrose with this, then she would have, um, th like, potentially three of those, like, uh, well, what does she even call it? Where is Sucrose? She would potentially have three, because one of her constellation gives her an additional charge for this, uh, Animo Hypostasis creation. And, um, again, it's like, it's a CC skill that pulls things together, so you can like clump enemies together and then like use another character's elemental burst to just like cleave them down, which is pretty fun. But yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. If I want to level this up and equip her with it, or just give her this Favonius Codex, which is already leveled up, and um, it increases energy recharge so that her elemental burst is available more often, which is kind of the one thing that you want for her character, at least the way I've built her, because I pretty much have her CC things together so that either Klee or some DPS character can just like blow up. So she's not like a main DPS for me. But yeah, these kind of decisions are hard to make. Like, But the thing is, the moment I rank up Klee's Sacrificial Fragment, then I lose one for sure, so that in the future if I want to make the decision 
to actually equip, like, I don't know, any of these other Catalyst characters with one of these. I forever lose that option, so... It's, I guess this is one of those, like, gamer things where <laughs> you don't want to use the resources that you're given. Like, in Pokemon, you don't want to use your TMs because uh, you're afraid, like, you won't be able... There's, like, a better place to use it in the future or something, so you end up just hoarding everything. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. Anyway, I guess I got a little bit of discussion out of that. I don't know. I feel like these Wish videos have, um... These Wish videos are actually, like, the best things that, um... Like, the best performing videos on my channel, which is the reason why, um, I enjoy continuously doing them. Actually, I was I would do them regardless of whether they get watch time or not because I, I I have fun since I get to kind of less like ramble and rant and just talk about how I feel about certain characters, how excited I am, how disappointed I am, like just like my my feelings and sentiment or anything like about this game. So I don't know. Anyway, I guess um, I should just end things now before it gets too long but yeah i hope you enjoyed not a lot happened in this video and um i hope you see you in the next one thanks for watching goodbye